Hello everyone, this is Matt Dameron, Strategic Account Manager with AeroSeal. I wanted to take a few moments today to go over with you how to save your post-seal reports to your AeroSeal laptop. As you know, you can print to your local printer that you carry with you, but there's also an option to save it to the computer, and then you could email this to a client, upload it to a USB drive, or use a share drive at your company office, whatever makes it easier for you. So the process is pretty straightforward, but I do want to make sure everybody understands how to do it. Once you do your post seal, it's going to ask you to hit next. Then it's going to take you to your certificate screen, which is where we are right now. So this is the last step in your process. You can print your certificate, run additional seals, go to new existing customer or close the software. So we're going to select certificates. It's going to bring up your post seal certificate report. This is what you want to share with your customer. It's going to show you in this case that we went all the way from 196 CFM down to 10. So we had a great seal and want to be able to share those results with our customer. Now select print save on the right hand side. Normally what's going to pop up here is your local printer you have connected whether it's a Canon, HP, or whoever the manufacturer is. You're going to select print, and it's going to print out to a piece of paper. We recommend that you do that if you want to hand it to your customer right there, but we also highly recommend that you back this up to the computer so you don't lose your file. So if you go to select printer, you're going to have something that says PDF Lite, print to PDF, Microsoft print to PDF, something of that nature. You're going to want to select that option and go back down to print. Once you select print, it's going to bring you to a box that's going to show you your different folders in your computer. What I'd like you to do is go to the desktop. If you don't have a folder yet, save your certificate in. Let's go to a new folder. We'll name it Ceiling Certificates. And then you can open that folder go down to the file name and we're going to put in Dameron 18-20 because we did the seal on the 8th. Then you're going to hit save. Once you've done that it's going to bring you back to your certificate screen and you can go down here to the bottom where your folders are, go to desktop and you'll see sealing certificates and then you'll see Dameron 18-20. And that's all there is to it. Again, it's another option for you to be able to save your client's files and then be able to use them in a different time. I hope everybody has a great day and keep on sealing.